All right, so. Anything interesting? Not really. Water breathing. Allows Caster to breathe underwater for 87 seconds. Of course, I can already breathe underwater. Take that. Oh, actually, let's take that and sell it. I do need to go do some... Oh. I do need to go and do... Ah. There we go. Need to go and do a little bit of selling soon. Take that. Alright, you know what I should be doing? Uh, hello? Okay. Um... <laughs> this would actually be kind of funny. <laughs> okay, go over there. And then... Let's see, what would be a good way to... Deal with him? So he's like standing on here maybe? <laughs> uh, I love that spell. Now that I've kind of got, got used to it a little bit, it's really cool. That is going to activate a trap. And is this guy coming back? Like... I gotta, gotta admit, I'm kind of curious. Like, is he making his way back, or...? No, oh, he's still standing over there. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, now... Carrying on to... So that's... That's that place, and then there's some undead and things. Let's uh, turn them against each other. Oh, hit the wrong one. Should always hit the one further away from you. Um. Oh, he's got. Uh, he got. He's got spells. <laughs> Doppelganger creates an illusionary copy of a target for 27 seconds. Doesn't work on dragons, undead, or machines. Okay. What does that mean? I guess we're gonna have to try that. Um. I want to see what this does. My goodness. Ah, oh, resisted. Well, that's crap. Um, hello? Bridge? Apparently, I need, uh, need fear. Run away. 
And then, when you enraged, had your own, your own pets. Oh, the Death Hound has a considerable advantage on health. She is draining them, though. There's two of them. Yeah, don't think that turned out too well for her. Okay, well, let's try this command again. What happens if I say, you know... So this thing can't be... Wait, where's the other... Oh, the other one ran off. Gotcha. So you are under my command. What does that mean? Necrosis. Inflicts a target with pestilence. No, don't want to use that. Destruction spells and everything are less. That's nice. What's that? Sure. Rune book, sadly. Okay, so you're under my command, but what does that what does that really mean? Are you you're like you're not following me or anything? Like I don't understand. And you are are you still feared? Ah, I'm still taking uh, frost damage. Whoa, what? Wait, but who? Who's aware of me? Can we, like, stop having an enemy wanting to kill us? Maybe? There we go. That's, that's more like it. Is there a way through here? Probably. Probably have to activate something. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spree? I mean, that seems easier than running a skooma den. The boss said it's some sort of profane spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. Drinking it gives you strength, but it also gets you pretty messed up. That's why we call it putting it in the skooma. Okay. So you guys are doing things down there. Hey! Sneak at 93. Wow. Hmm. Oh, good grief. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to open. Let's level and we'll do more health. And I uh, can't do that. Alteration. Not yet. Really? I still don't have the. Uh, don't have the fl a flesh spell to use for that. Destruction. No. Illusion. No, it doesn't look like we've gained enough for that. I don't think I need this. I think this is just for shouts. That's getting close. Uh, pandemonium. Those affected by frenzy spell within the radius of imposing presence gain 50% extra attack damage. That's kind of interesting. So we want to basically activate somebody and then, I mean, um, cast Frenzy on them and then move closer so they gain extra attack damage. Maybe. Feast upon the minds of those affected by a fear spell. Uh, draining Magicka. Those affected by a frenzy spell or effect within the radius of imposing presence are consumed by battle hunger when there are no other enemies remaining, taking 40 points of damage per second. Seems like a good way to kill people indirectly. Uh, incapacitate target with magical exhaustion for 30 seconds, draining 500 points of magic and stamina. This effect has a 180 second cooldown, can only affect one target at a time. Hmm. 
Illusion spell is 50% more powerful. Last 50% longer for 10 seconds. This, the, da the downsides of these uh, things don't sound that great. Calm spell. Sent a wraith to slay the target within 10, uh, 15 seconds. Activate a humanoid under the effect of a fear spell to compel the target to stand motionless for 30 seconds. I mean, it's nice that, you know, what it does, but the massive cooldown, I don't know. Anything else we can get for sneak? That might be, might be useful. Disengage. Once a day power. Don't want smoke screen. I'll take that. Better sneaking. Alright, well... Maybe not do anything super fancy. Um, let's start off by um, enraging her. <laughs> She's trying to be angry. Not really working very well. Oh, she's raising an undead. You guys, you gonna find him over here? It's right here, right here. Hmm. No. Hmm. Else we got. Can we use telekinesis on that? No. Turn undead. How about that? Oop, oop, oop. She is taking damage. She's heading over this way. Oh. Oh, hello. Well, hello, madam. She bumped right into me. How long is she going to take damage for? Um, 30 seconds. That might not be enough. Uh, calm. Ah, oh, she's still not. She's not. She's not doing it. Not gonna die all the way. Not all the way. Oh, you're gonna die. Yep. That did it. Uh, armor, yeah, it's worth selling. And who are you? Are you a thrall? Can I feed on you? Nice. You're all upset now. Let's have hypnotize just in case. Double hypnotize. Must be my imagination. Yes, it's definitely your imagination, friend. Is he still gonna explode? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay, where's the, uh... Oh, it's the doggy. It's gonna blow up. Is it gonna be within range? Ah. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Holy... Okay. That's cool. And... What was she... She's a vampire. What was she cooking? 
And is there a reason to go up? Do I want to go down? Uh-oh. That's not good. Ah. Poison. them. Great. Uh, is this worth taking? Yeah, sure. I really do need to, uh... Oh, good God! Ugh. Ah! Okay, now, you know what? It's not worth it. This place is a freaking death trap. Let's just, let's just go up. I want Wicked Wind. Perfect. Ah, oh, it's a dog again. Blood Brand and, no, oh, Blood Brand and Hypnotize. Go away. And then blow up. Hey, there's a book down there. And the book's gone. Oh, forget forget the the major looting stuff. Let's just let's just move. And open that. He says. Venerous Vulpin's Journal? Oh. That's kind of lengthy. Um, double muffle. Okay, hypnotize on and uh, blood brand. Those are generally pretty good. And we've got a vampire over there. Let's do rage. Master vampire gonna start doing damage. I really do want to get invisibility. Invisibility and paralysis. Oof, that Master Vampire's taking some damage now. Ah, rah, ar, yar. <laughs> oh, he's... I think he's done for. Hand versus somebody? Well, well, whoever the death hand is fighting is dead. Okay. Man, I'm getting so many forgotten magic spell books. Uh, hurls a fiery bolt at the target, causing 90 fire damage. Seems pretty straightforward. Um, is there... Is there... What is causing that? What's causing the heartbeat? What, what, what is that? Muffle? What the heck is causing the heartbeat sound? I don't think 
he's actually taking damage. Oops. Kai. Is it, is it something here? Yeah, it sounds like it's right, right here. It's not her. Weird. Yeah, now it's gone. Okay, there's uh, a thing there. And where's the... Where's the way to activate that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, take that. Too. It's worth something. Uh, don't want to do alchemy. Is this gonna do something? Oh, that's nothing. That's, oh, there's trap activation things all over the place. All over the place. It's almost like somebody wants to keep people out of here. Okay, we've got... Okay, so you are gonna fight. And there's you. Can I get you to join in on the fun over there? Yep. That's working. Nice, get them to fight amongst themselves. That's how I like to see it done. What are you, do you get stuck over there and you're, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh yeah, thrall. Oh, oh, what's happening there? You guys are like, not sure if you want to continue fighting or? You're really not doing a lot of damage to each other. Don't, don't come over here, you fight, keep fighting. I think they're basically draining each other and not causing that much. Like they're they're draining the damage back from each other. I think that's what's happening. Oh, there's another vampire involved now. Oh, that's dead. Oh, I see. Somebody wrote, raised. Yep, they're fighting and healing, fighting and healing. Could take a while. How can I help it along a little? I can cast uh, Turn Undead on them. So then they'll be running, running away in fear. They're like right behind that pillar too. I can't do anything but with him back there. Oops. I started fighting, and then I'll do Blood Scourge on uh, her, I guess. Did she, did she get hit? I don't think so. Are they close enough to actually, is she close enough to do him damage? She blows up. Nope. Okay, see, so is he just gonna kind of hide behind there? Is that the plan? 
Ooh. Leather armor of bounty. And what is this? It's another research journal. Oh, man. I'm not going to read all this stuff. What I am going to do is... Uh, oh, I still don't have enough uh, magic to double... To dual cast that. What? 152. Oh, I'm like just, just a little bit shy. Okay, let's, let's do that. Did I? Did I not hit him? How did I not hit him? Oh. There you go. Let's throw one point, one more point into Magicka, just so that I can dual cast that. 99 and sneak. Man. Amazing. I think he just blew up again. Two-handed attacks. Spanish Daedra, sure. Why not? Okay, so there's a whole bunch of uh, dead vampires around here. Another, another one. Forgotten magic death guard. Summons a death guard for 66 seconds. Okay, what does that do? Uh, destruction. I don't know why I'm picking up all this vampire dust, to be honest. Take that. That. Um, sure, take that. And I think, oh, what was that? An arrow. Yeah. Okay, here's the big thing. Now, we've got foreknowledge. <laughs> to know that there are, uh, there are people here hiding. In fact, can I go around and see them? Let's save here. I kind of think they're here. Uh, hmm. Maybe not. Maybe they only show up when you uh, when you get in here and fill the fill the spring. Okay, there we go. Activate and back off a little bit here. There they are. Alright, we are going to cause some rage. Ooh! Ooh! Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Oh! Oh, man! Uh, let's do Blood Scourge. Actually, let's do Double Blood Scourge. I still don't have enough magic after that. And cause her to blow up right next to him. Well, sort of. Okay, now I should have... The ability to dual cast. Of I still don't have enough... Come on! Still not enough magic. Huh? That stinks. Uh, what if we, um, got this, what if I throw on, like, vampire destruction rubs, yes, now I've got enough, nice, that was painful. Right on. Okay, switch back to our regular gear. And yes, they're both done for. That, I'm carrying too much to run. Okay, um, heaviest 
stuff that is not... Um, I'd like to break that down. That's not critical. I don't like how that just sort of opened. Does that mean something, or am I just going to be able to get out of here? Oh, I'm just back here? Perfect. And I just need to return to uh, Karen. Does there, there are, um, there, I believe that there are, oh, it's daytime again. I believe that there are some, um, some uh, vendors back at the castle, I think. I think so. All right, well, I'll head back there, do some selling and things, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care.